In this video, we will discuss the pathological features of celiac disease. For microscopic features of celiac disease, the keywords to remember are immune system destroys intestinal villi. You know that celiac disease is an autoimmune disorder in which our immune system destroys the cells of intestinal villi. For example, in celiac disease, our immune system is activated against a dietary protein gluten or some of its products. So when this gluten or some of its products are absorbed by the intestinal epithelial cells lining the villi of small intestine, then our immune system that is activated against such products starts to destroy the epithelial cells of villi. So the keywords are immune system destroys the intestinal villi. So the first keyword is immune system. This immune system will be visible as intraepithelial lymphocytosis mainly comprising of T lymphocytes. So this immune system in the form of lymphocytes will appear in the epithelial cells of the villi and it will destroy these epithelial cells. So you see intraepithelial lymphocytes. And other than these lymphocytes, the immune system can also be in the form of plasma cells, mast cells and eosinophils. All these can be present in the lamina propria. But the most striking feature is intraepithelial lymphocytosis. The second keyword is destroys intestinal villi. So you will see villus atrophy and crypt hyperplasia. Now let me explain this point. You know that the intestine in small intestine, the epithelium is in the form of finger like projections that are called villi. And in the small intestine, the epithelium also forms deep invaginations in the lamina propria that are known as crypts. So small intestinal epithelial lining is in form of villi and crypts. Now what happens in celiac disease is that the immune system destroys the epithelial cell lining this villi. So these villi actually become flattened or atrophied. But what happens to these crypts? Actually these crypts are rich in stem cells that help in the growth of these villi. So in response to the damage of these villi, these crypts undergo hyperplasia. So remember the points in celiac disease, these villi are atrophied while the crypts become hyperplastic. So you see villus atrophy and you see crypt hyperplasia. So again, let me revise the features of celiac disease. In celiac disease, you see intraepithelial lymphocytosis and these lymphocytes in the epithelial layers are mainly T lymphocytes. Other than these lymphocytes, you see plasma cells, mast cells and eosinophils in lamina propria and you see villus atrophy with cryptic hyperplasia. So this concludes the pathological features of celiac disease.